Okay, well, this has been another open source live code hangout. I've been working on a large refactoring pull request, changing 70 files, mostly renaming stuff, but then um, have I've set up this code coverage reporting tool recently, and now it's starting to review pull requests. And this pull request actually failed review uh, based on the code coverage for quite a while. So I had to work through and add a bunch of code coverage in the process. So not only have we managed to refactor the app to um, support much more general purpose um, companionship groups, where you can support single hub and spoke group where many people come together to provide companionship for a single person. And we can support the many to many group where many people come together to provide companionship for one another which is that just opens up a lot of use cases. Also, this code, I think, is very close to what I would call beta quality. We're still a bit alpha quality, having undergone a major backwards incompatible refactoring in the process of this pull request. I decided for pragmatic reasons not to preserve backwards compatibility. I don't have any people actively using the app. There's no data that needs to be migrated. So making these kind of breaking changes is OK at this stage of the project. But once we hit beta, I think I should be really careful about any backwards incompatible changes, and we should have um, improved test coverage. So there are a few um, areas left in the app that have less than like 80%. We'll, we'll set some reasonable goal. I think it's right now it's 76.22% for some reason by default. We can honor that, or maybe we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit higher and, and try for 80 or 90% test coverage, something reasonable pragmatic not a hundred percent so yeah this project is getting closer to beta and i'd appreciate any ideas or feedback so if you'd like to get involved with this project stop by github.com companionship care you can join our discussion and bring your ideas and we're accepting uh, contributions and ideas from all sorts of uh, contributors with all sorts of skills you don't have to know coding to help this project out if you want to just try the software and give ideas or report bugs or help improve the user interface and user experience design, those types of contributions are welcome as well. All right, well, thanks again uh, for to Imperium and uh, for joining and uh, chatting with the, uh, and bringing your very interesting ideas relating to education and philosophy and copyright. It's been also nice to have some people hanging out on the chat uh, while I'm working. It kind of gives me a little bit of a break um, in between uh, really the difficult thinking and refactoring it's nice to just be able to interact with people so again thanks for uh, stopping by imperium hope to see you on the stream and thank you for checking this uh summary video out i hope you're doing well and have a